Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So Divine Masculine, I'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days, even though you hijacked our shit, uh, the Divine Feminine one, but okay. I do cuss in my readings and get no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it to get dirt. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine masculine. Get no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch it on the way. I'll hit the alley. You'll be back in Tarland. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love all right divine masculine let's see what's up g is this gonna be a pot deux? anyway uh give me some messages for divine masculine the energy he's gonna be in and how he'll be feeling about himself in the next seven days i saw y'all commenting too in divine feminine's uh video too divine masculine y'all stepping out bartholomew nina uh-huh uh i lay you give me some messages for divine masculine Sit on each a slice of pizza and be quiet. Slick Rick, seven of swords. Oh shit, divine masculine. That's you or somebody else saying they doing some shit that they ain't doing or they need to be doing some shit uh, and they ain't doing it, but they claiming that they are. It's a, it's a liar, man, uh, is what this is. Somebody's trying to, ooh. Somebody trying to figure out how to brush. Is this you here, buddy? This here you. Somebody's trying to figure out how to brush something off or sneak away out of something divine masculine. Act like they never knew. And they don't remember that. And I don't remember you. Yeah, like it never happened, G. Ooh. 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 Oh, shit. I can't see him coming down my eyes. So I got to let the song cry is what they started playing. Good dude. I know you love me like cook food. Look at her eating. Even though a ninja got to move like a crook move. Yep. Somebody trying to sneak away from some shit. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, give me another one. I feel like for some reason in this card, these two people behind this woman are relevant. Especially this curly headed broad with half of her face showing. I feel like she a two sided broad. Like she may be like, I don't know. I feel like it's three people here, divine masculine and like all of them are relevant. So I feel like the card that I'm about to put next to this is gonna be about this little side bra right here. But we'll see. She could have really curly hair. This person could have a, a weird nose or uh, they don't eat because uh, you see the pizza in here I'm just sitting there like, bitch, we had a pizza party, bitch. Why is you not eating? And it's just something about this one nose. I don't know. Some shit. OK, let's keep going. The magician. Mm -hmm. I told you something about this one here in the blue sweater and shit. OK. This the home, this the manipulative one right here. This one that you can't really see. That's like, let's go to the pizza party right now. And she, this bitch don't even eat pizza. Okay. There's a, uh, some woman that has, I, it could be two women, but I'm picking up. There's a woman that has some woman like lying or doing some shit here. G. Okay. I don't know if th this woman has this other woman lying to you in regards to something. This is my, Hey, Mr. DJ, when the magician comes out. So that's a musician, some type of artist. You do something divine masculine where people see you. Somebody is responsible. Somebody like that's connected to whatever it is that you do for work or business is responsible for this slick rig bullshit. Okay. <clears throat> they put somebody else up to this. It's three bitches. Oh. You've been trying to figure this shit out too, Booski. I see it. Mm-hmm. You've been uh, sleeping around with a lot of people or you just, I mean, let me see. 
No, nah, maybe. I mean, even if you're not sleeping around a lot, it's a lot of women that throw themselves at you divine masculine is what I'm picking up on. And it gets you caught in a lot of drama and shit. So now you're playing detective to see who did what because there's so many women. Gee, what the hell? Okay, this is for some of you. Others of you, there's just some manipulative ass motherfucker around, G. <clears throat> okay? The magician with the seven of swords is a sneaky motherfucker. Uh, scratch a liar, find a thief type shit. No wonder you wanted to uh, get on the ark with us. All this bullshit. Now I see why you was all up in our reading, G. Yeah. We didn't have no pizza. We had, that was probably gelato or some vegan shit I was eating, really. Like, we don't eat this type of... You may be eating bad. I'm, I mean, well, shit, some of y'all are chefs. You may be eating gourmet pizza. Somebody could be making a gourmet pizza or some shit like that. But I feel like a lot of y'all are just making some quick and easy shit. Like add water, uh, grub hub, microwave, like shit like this. So be careful of your diet, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. Okay. This is getting close to, this is on the outskirts. Divine Feminine had this shit too. Uh, somebody's getting ready to go to jail. G, same fucking shit. Somebody is. Spiritual jail, regular motherfucking jail, something. Uh, it could be a feminine energy here, but somebody's getting real close to getting caught up in some shit, okay? Uh, I don't feel like this is you. Yeah, this some tired ass bitch. Yeah, it's not even you. Yeah, she may be homeless, don't know where she go. This is why she tired. Uh, somebody is a homeless woman out here, Divine Masculine, that you was fucking with, G, or I don't know who she is to you. I can't say, well, you was fucking with her on some level, G. She don't know where she going. In life, uh, tonight, motherfucker, tomorrow, none of that shit for breakfast, nothing, okay? This is like having no delivery address and no return to sender. This motherfucker had no home, so that's why she yawning. I feel like uh, her friends don't have no home. Uh, this is a bitch that hang around a bunch of broke bitches, okay? This is, I guess, this your partner? Because uh, the three of cups is down here, too. And remember, I told you it was something about the three in women in this card. Same thing with that three of cups here. All of them in on some shady shit. It's three women in cahoots on some shit, okay? Either trying to get you caught up in something, sent to jail, get you caught up in your mind, mind fuck you, or you and your friends, and y'all are, are you, or you're in a group of bitches and you act like one, right? It could be that, right? Or these are all your male friends and all y'all act like this. It's one or the other. You could pick the gender, but somebody, st it's still a group of fuck shit out here. Somebody trying to figure out how to get somebody in bed too here. This is real low fucking vibe, G, okay? Crazy shit is, I feel like it's a woman doing this shit to you. But I mean, shit, you are a hot commodity on these screens. Because we did see you as the king of wands uh, in Divine Feminine's uh, video. Uh, and you were coming up looking real nice and shit. So I, I'm not surprised that all this bullshit going on. Somebody trying to hold on to you, G, is what this here is, okay? Somebody will be battering... I don't know if you think it's bird. I mean, chicken, but it's damn sure bird. Excuse me. Someone will be battering a bird. I cannot for surely say that that shit chicken because Slick Rick is out here. They're going to tell you it is. They're going to say it's something that it's not. And you're going to throw flour on it or make some type of something. And you will be eating parakeet. Okay? Somebody is in the next seven days. I'm telling y'all, allegedly, this shit ain't chicken, G. Allegedly, the shit is not fucking chicken. What if that's why everybody tweaking and shit? You know, like something simple and shit. Uh, I'm just saying. But anyway, yeah, somebody battering bird. A battered bird. Oh, shit. Don't be putting your hands on nobody, G. They keep saying a battered bird. But you know what? When I was shuffling, I did see the Queen of Pentacles, the belt, the color purple, and the bird card. And I was like, that can't be good. Miss Ely is a... Uh, what I was going to do about Sophia, right? I don't know. Somebody went and asked somebody about somebody and they was in the cornfield and Miss Ely was like, beat her, right? I don't know. Some, I'm telling you, it's this broad in the blue shirt. Divine masculine, it's somebody uh, playing two sides. Somebody might have told you to go uh, whoop on Miss Sophia and they friends with Miss Sophia because real shit. That's what the fuck this is. Somebody, it's not funny, but I mean, for those that saw the color purple, right? Because that's what's at the bottom of this deck is why I said that when I shuffled to get ready, right? For those who saw that, you know that that's what happened and shit. And she was still friends with Miss Sophia. Somebody causing problems in your relationship uh, just to get you all caught up in some shit. It's a, it's a women, G. Ooh, your shit messy, Jesse. Shit. 
Uh, yeah, but don't batter that bird. Shit, if you don't work at church's fucking chicken, okay? Don't batter that motherfucking bird. Look, aw, uh, they clowning. They said assault, right? And pepper is what they said when you batter that bird. That's fucked up, but they were, that's fucked up. Assault. <laughs> That's fucked up. Who's here? That's just wrong. I already know who here. <clears throat> uh, and I know who they talking about, too. That's fucked up. But they ruthless like that. That's why I said they, they probably just here, you know? Anyway, one on the seven of swords. Snuff about loud. Three of pentacles. Yeah, I told you. It's a collaboration of three. Here it is. Here they are, divine masculine. I don't know if you want to, you could be one of these people just coming up as feminine energy in this card because any masculine involved in some fuck shit like this would definitely be coming up in feminine energy. You would. <clears throat> Might as well put your motherfucking apron on too because you involved in bitch shit basically is what this is, okay? Divine masculine. If you know, like, I am not involved in bitch shit, bitch. I am on the road again, right? I got businesses. Uh, I have a full-time job career, right? That's you, divine masculine. I got enough on my plate, shit, right? Trying to stay out of my head about that. That's you, right? Then there's some women in cahoots, G. I don't know if it's a baby's mama and she cool with your family members or some shit like that or sisters and some shit. I don't know, okay? But there are a bunch of women working to do. I'm going to figure out what they trying to get you caught up in because that's what this is. We'll see when we get to that part. But yeah, yeah, that's what the fuck goes on. Somebody may be uh, working at a rest. Somebody going to have to get a job, a nine to five. Somebody's already lying about where they work, Divine Masculine. You or someone else in the next seven days. Uh, you will see them at the Piggly Wiggly or your local Geno's Pizza type shit. You will. Some broad, somebody, some broad's going to get caught slipping and shit. Like she really worked at, you know what I'm saying? The Shake Shack and shit. You know what I mean? You're not meeting her there. And if you are, it's on her motherfucking break, G. It's a bitch out here lying. Okay, she works there. She tosses the dough. Three of Pentacles here with the magician. You getting close to finding out some shit about somebody divine masculine. Or someone's getting close to finding out some shit about your ass, okay? That's exactly what goes on here. This bitch real too, way too secretive. They almost making me feel like, and no disrespect to nobody, they also, almost making me feel like somebody could be a man, G. Like, and you don't know for whoever's dealing with this. Uh, you know, like this could be you wondering, like, why they always cover up? This is you, right, sitting at your desk. Because, you know, y'all think about nasty shit all day. That y'all do. So this could be you like, why she always cover up her private parts when I want to, you know what I'm saying? Because she kind of closed off the ice queen. It could be a man. Shit. That's what I had heard. Everybody else know they've been pointing it. I don't know. That's for somebody. Shit now. Okay. Uh, y'all need to be telling people the truth, uh, they nothing but the, okay, whatever side you on. If you like the shit, then say you like the shit. If you are transitioning or whatever the hell, y'all need to be honest with these people, okay? Because, uh, I'm telling y'all, they keep saying the batter bird, so I don't know, okay? I hope somebody just opening up, uh, I don't even hope you opening up a chicken restaurant, but somebody literally fucking is. I mean, shit. Mm -hmm. A wing place or something? And we don't even have wings. So where the fuck is you getting them? Mm -hmm. Poor little parakeets and shit. Like these are the tiniest motherfucking buffalo wings I've ever seen and shit. These are going to be some tiny motherfucking wings at this <laughs> Like, damn, I ain't never seen buffalo minis. Like, yeah, these mini like a motherfucker. Uh, you going to need mini to get full on these little bitty ass fucking wings. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going on with that shit. Moving on. Uh, one with the three of pentacles and the seven of swords. Seven of pentacles. Ooh, divine masculine. I mean, shit. Well, normally I would like this because this would be ten of pentacles, but it's a lying motherfucker. So somebody lying about where they live, where they work, where they stay, all this shit. It's some abroad. Now, there could be a woman living with some women and you would think that she lived by herself because of what she claimed, what she do or whatever. Or it is you. Right. I feel like if you're doing this, they're basically telling me like you are like on some feminine shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like 
And no disrespect, but you're like that man that hangs out at the gym all day and drinks shakes and nobody ever sees you fucking work out. You just like hang out at the receptionist desk and talk to bitches all day. Like you that motherfucker. You would be the one kind of involved in this shit. No disrespect, but that's what they just showed me. You like buff and nobody fucking knows why. Like we've never seen that motherfucker work out, but that motherfucker buff as fuck. Mm -hmm. I know why you buff too. But anyway, you ain't heard that from me. Uh... Somebody's lying about a corporation here, Divine Masculine. There's a business, a music business, or some type of production company or something like that. Somebody lying about this shit, okay? Uh, I don't know if this is where somebody's, like, putting money or saying this is a legit something or I don't know. Because, I, I mean, shit, I ain't finna tell y'all how to get away with murder and shit. Just the other day I was out in Miami. Got the low, low. Yeah, somebody uh trafficking and shit. Let me stop singing the song. Shout out to Nikki though, right? But let me stop singing that. But yeah, I'm I'm getting a lot of like money laundering and shit uh through some business. It could be like through this uh Buffalo Mini Wing business or this motherfucking whatever the fuck. Uh, I feel like the feds watching G. Yeah, they got Evidente. Somebody better be careful. There's some organization here, Divine Masculine, that may be going down. Somebody's going to jail here. I feel like you got a Donny Brasco here. Yeah, out of these three. It's a woman, though, G. It's three or shit now. It could be... I don't know. They keep saying Dexter, the buff one. So I don't fucking know who that is. But, okay, uh, it's a feminine man that's that's involved in this or it's just feminine energy. Women, uh, they're going to flip is what I heard. If the business go down, if it get taken away, if the feds come a-knocking... If a wife comes a calling, any of that shit, somebody is like not down to like to the end here, Divine Masculine. You around a lot of shady people in the next seven days. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody having a house party though, or a party at their house. Somebody's gonna have. Uh, somebody's gonna put an accusation. You can, I don't know, something about an accusation. It's going to be a bitch lying about what happened at a party at a house, G, okay? I know y'all be, re I know, man, I know. I was just about to say that I could hear y'all minds, uh, entertainment people, right? Because sometimes I'll be checking TMZ and I'll just be shaking my head like, man, I told you motherfuckers, G. I told you motherfuckers. It don't mean all y'all listen to me, but I just be like, can a friend tell a friend and shit? I mean, you know what I'm saying? This type shit. So I'm telling you now. Whoever is has like house parties, it's a DJ at that motherfucker, whole band, uh, all type of shit. The police are going to come uh, and some bitches are going to lie. Okay, I don't know what the fuck goes on at this party, but someone needs to be careful about being at the wrong place at the wrong time or just being you, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. Be careful who coming in and out your house, man. There's a bird that knows how to get into someone's house, they said. Or it's literally like birds, like someone leaves the window open. Oh, that could be how. But I feel like they're talking about a woman or women. I see women sneaking into a man's house or it's some property or something divine masculine, okay? They're short women. These women are kind of short. Yeah, they're mini buffalo wings. <laughs> they keep, I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I don't know. Something about, I don't know what the mini buffalo wing thing is, so. Put one on the magician. Let's keep going. Something about this one in this blue shirt. Though, she bothers me. Like, she uh, sits around and figures out how to get everybody wrapped up in shit. And, like, she's like, uh, somebody here is like the dictator and there's a lot of pawns here you figure out where you go divine masculine maybe you're not in this at all and you've been trying to figure out who's trying to throw your shit down your empire down there's one that's in charge and two followers here g real shit somebody's lying about working at a music uh, company or something i keep getting like a lot like i don't know they're a rapper they <sighs> You know, it's hard to figure out what motherfucker lying. I mean, the shit ain't true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How am I supposed to pick up on fa false energy, G? I just know a motherfucker be lying. They damn sure lie about where they work and where they live. That part. Put one on the magician. 
I'm not getting any of your energy though, Divine Masculine. So that is a good thing. Mano y mano is what this card is. That's the Knight of Cups. Somebody damn sure been putting shit in your food though. But you know what? Um, they've been telling me too because we've been talking about people putting shit in people's food. And we are just, I mean, are smart people. You know what I'm saying? We don't really, whatever color you are. But damn sure my people, we don't just be eating shit. But I'm just feeling like this that time with the Rona and all that, that people ain't really doing that. This is like spiritual food, G, with the magician. This is what people are putting in your food, the spiritual food, the shit that you go to every day and, and like look up to or, you know what I mean? Not necessarily look up to, but like depend on, count on, you know what I mean? To do something for you, you know? So this could be you, shit, I don't fucking know. Listening to, uh, this is like some R. Kelly shit, G. This is what, exactly what this is. You listen to him every day like, yeah, I done made children on this damn song and this man. And then all this shit come out and it just turned it totally fucking different. Like, is that what you was talking about, motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's, it's like soul food. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it feeds you different type of ways uh, is what this is. And not to use him as an example, but that's the best way I could get it across to you where you will just be like, yeah, that did kind of fuck up the whole vibe. Yes. This is somebody like spiritually feeding you and you don't know why you're feeling a certain way, but I feel like they're implanting, planting something. Seven of Pentacles have several seats. They're uh, like staging something or something like that. Be careful, Divine Masculine. This feels more like a be aware reading in the next seven days. Somebody out here is, del is like deliberately lying to you. Two other people know about this lie or help this people help this person come up with this lie. Help this person figure out this lie to keep you stuck or to get you stuck or to have you uh, invest in something, create something with them. It could be a child. Oh, yeah. Somebody damn sure out here. One, it's a parakeet that wanted to have a baby G, out here with you. Divine masculine. Uh. Yeah, I see bitches wanting to produce Divine Masculine. It's a business transaction. Hey, number pinnacles out here in one little night, and it's still a deal. You know what I mean? So be careful. What the hell? All right. Well, a lot of women out here want your seed. I mean, in the next seven days. They'll do anything to have it. Some of them out here are lying about a child, divine masculine. So I don't know. This shit was already weird with the whole man, woman, and, and all of that. So let's get to the getting close to. The ice queen. Yeah, so she don't say shit. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a real life Donnie Brasco. I tell you all this shit all the time. I keep picking up on it. It don't mean they're necessarily talking to the feds, but somebody damn sure would. Okay, if this anything organized, uh, we might just get hit with the Rico. It's her fault, okay? That's why you can't find this bitch or nothing. Uh, she happened to be something like that. Somebody bails out Divine Masculine. You or someone else, but I keep getting feminine energy because uh, they know something's coming. But I feel like they're responsible for it as far as like manipulating this to happen. So it's like, uh, like say somebody's feeding you a story and feeding someone else a story so you two fight and break up. And this person just so happens to not be around when the big fight blows up and all this. Like, well, so-and-so told me this. Like, well, that's the one and this person missing and shit. There's like a big ass instigator here, G. Real shit in the next seven days. Uh, this person, after this gets found out, this person will be like frozen, they said. Like they won't be able to, they'll be ostracized, they said. Everybody will know them as a fucking liar, G. She has, or he, whoever this is, has no answer. Uh, they can't even answer. This is somebody who like can't look you in the face. Whoever this is can't even look their own mama or family in the face. They lie to them people too. Anybody that lie to their mama or their mama don't even want them around or just look at them like they ain't shit. You know what I mean? Expect you to look at them the same way. In the next seven days. This is somebody who could be lying about their family background, where they come from, all this shit. Like, no, their mama think they not shit too. Uh, that's why you ain't never seen that motherfucking lady. Like, how come we ain't never seen your mama at the pizza party, bitch? Thanksgiving to nothing. The monkey bread uh, festival, nothing, bitch. Where is your mom? You know what I'm saying? Where is she? Uh, where is you sisters, bitch? Where is you, you know? 
Like somebody has no background, no life. Somebody's whole fucking shit is made the fuck up, G. This person is responsible for trying to fuck up your shit. It's like they can disappear. Like, you know how you can't catch a crackhead, right? It's kind of like that. Like, you know what I mean? This person has no identity or no... Uh, this could be somebody who stole something from you, Divine Masculine, or you did, well, I can't call you Divine if you did this and there's no energy. So I'm rolling with you, buddy, right? I'm rolling with you, buddy. This could be somebody that you work with or that works with you or something that put something on you as far as made it look like you did something wrong at your job and you could be reprimanded for this and they quiet. Like, bitch, you was sitting right there when the shit happened and now this bitch don't know nothing, right? Them type of people. Or this is somebody that you uh, let in your business, in your home or something, and they stole some shit, G. I've been picking up on the thief here for a while with you, mister. Okay. I have. Yeah, I'm going to put you to bed. Jay Holiday is at the bottom uh, of the uh, flashcard deck. Yeah, this is um, some broad you done slept with. Yeah, you trying to figure out who was the one working and putting in the plans and all this other shit. They're telling me uh, somebody's, yeah, somebody's spiritually connected to the devil. Here is what this is. Or some dark energy. You may be fucking this bitch. And you trying to figure out why all your shit fucked up. It was a plan. It's like somebody, uh... It's like, you don't even really have, I don't feel like this person like actually like, is like, I mean, they, they could work with some dark shit, you know what I mean? But I feel like this is just like a broad that like, they go around just fucking men. <laughs> I mean, shit for money or something, stealing and robbing them and shit and fucking their life up. I mean, shit, you trying to figure out which one, how many did you fuck? We got to start from the beginning. You saw the man at the bottom of the deck on the other one, letter M. You saw, uh, we have to start at A, buddy. Okay, they tell me you done had a lot of people around, a lot of people in your home, in your bed, at the dinner table, uh, in private shit where they shouldn't have even been around and shit, but she was supposed to be sitting there quiet, not paying attention, but she was though. You know what I'm saying? This is a bitch that'll watch you put your security code in uh, a keypad. Okay, in the next seven days. I'm just telling you, G. You don't have to believe me. Put some on Slick Rick ass with the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here. It's something about somebody knows. It's either somebody on that booger sugar or they got a real fucked up nose. It's something wrong with it. Even this man's nose. I don't know if you could see it, but it's like something about their noses or this these women's nose. Uh, maybe it's a family of them. And you know how people be related and they all got the same fucking nose. Uh, it could be some shit like that. Like two of them got the same nose and it's another one that they hang around that's older possibly uh, who dictating them to or some shit like this, G. I don't know if you were sleeping with all of them or you could be related to these people too, Divine Masculine though, with the Ten of Pentacles. This totally could be family, G. And all this could be about money. There could be some greed involved here. Give me everything that I need. How you gonna deal with the niggas that I feed? Yeah, somebody uh, overstepping their boundaries here, too. Ooh, hey. You need to, uh, I don't know. Don't batter the bird, but I'm just saying, shit. I see why you feel like that. I'm gonna keep it so real. Like, fuck. What else can he do, Lord? You know? But this may just be karma, my friend. Yeah, Timmy came out. Knight of Wands. Someone is uh, rushing in to come and tell you a lie, too. Like, real quick, before someone else tells you. It's like this. I just want to tell you before. Like, this type of shit. Before someone else tells you. I just want to, like, someone is going to try to, like, uh, like, smooth some shit over and shit. To make you uh, feel like they the hero and shit. No, the fuck they ain't, G. They involved in this shit, too. They had a part in this. They had a hand in this, I'm being told to tell you. I don't know what you got going on, boy. I see y'all cooking up shit in the kitchen and shit. And, mm-hmm. -mm. Okay. And eat in the kitchen like we in the mafia. Yeah, I don't know, G. Okay. Somebody ain't quiet here about something, though. Why is she here? If that's what y'all doing. I mean, just saying. She need to be uh in the deli section. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? I'm picking up on, like, soprano, like... What y'all into, G? What y'all into, man? Okay? 
Somebody lying about going to work. Somebody, I mean, shit, it's just a liar. I can't elaborate on this motherfucker no more. Somebody lying about a kid. Somebody lying about where they work, where they stay. It's a whole, it's Jessica G. Y'all know about Jessica, okay? We heard this a pathological liar out here, okay? Dangerous, okay, is what this person is. And uh, whoever the two people are that are helping this person lie to you, Divine Masculine, uh, they don't even know how dangerous of a liar this person is, G. This person is a very good liar. Uh, and that's what this is. Somebody going to try to come in like, like ride your nuts and shit and act like they were not part of something. Yes, the fuck they were. They're just a very good liar. Please know that. It's like people punking out, backing out now because you're getting closer to finding out something. You probably iced a lot of people out too or people are just, you're going to notice in the next seven days. People not talking to you or kind of separating and shit from you or acting distant and cold and it ain't because of the fucking Rona and shit. That's because they were involved and you getting close to finding out who's not gang bitch. Let me find out. Yes, you about to, G. You are. Some of these people done been in your home. I'm telling you, know your mama and them. G. Done been to your kid birthday parties and all that shit. Okay? Wow. Okay. Put one on this uh, Knight of Cups here with this magician. Yeah, you need to watch out, buddy, is what's going on here. Somebody's definitely trying to have a son with someone or wants to have a son with someone. Uh, they may not say, like, they may be telling, somebody may be telling somebody, like, they love them and all this other shit. They want the money. They want to have a kid with this person or this person had a kid with someone to be part of, like, a legacy or part of, like, a, a, like a family name or some shit. That is true. That's probably why this bitch acting funny. Her friends know. Like someone's sick. They said someone sicked someone on someone. Okay. So this is like you going back to the Cinderella reading that I did for Divine Feminine. Just like shoving the shoe on a bitch foot and fucking that bitch. Like, bitch, it looked like it fit to me. Right? It's like, just like, what the fuck? That shit cracking all on the side and shit, cuz. But you still like, nah. Her foot got in it. And you hit that. Uh, these are the three uh, stepsisters or the two stepsisters. Was it two or three? And the mama, remember? The wicked stepsisters and shit. This was a plan to get to the ball, G. So you would impregnate them and not Cinderella and shit. And she'd be out left in the cold in her squash and her motherfucking onesie and shit looking stupid. That's basically what the fuck goes on. You're going to find out somebody tried to keep you away from Cinderella, G. Whatever Cinderella is to you. A money, home, business, or an actual Ella, Ella, eh. Eh, yeah, this is somebody who could have helped you out, could have possibly saved you or rescued you from something. Not that a woman or someone needs to rescue you like that, but someone who could have been of a benefit to you. Uh, and remember, the, the stepmama was very vindictive. She used the, her own two daughters. That's what I said, the bitch in the blue shirt. Shit, that's the motherfucking mama. And like two daughters or some shit. And the mama devised the plan because she like a, a old parakeet bird and don't nobody want that old ice cap pussy and shit. Don't nobody want that shit. So she want her daughters to become something so she can at least get a piece of something and kind of live vicariously through them. This is this type of shit. Okay. Hmm. Lord have his mercy. Okay. Put one on the magician like I've been trying to do uh, with the Knight of Cups. That's exactly what the fuck this is. You go, well, hold on, come back. Put one on the woman with the blue shirt. Just side note, she bothers me, G. Yeah, the fucking glitter glove, I knew it. This my vitiligo card, right? This cause Michael Jackson put the glove on to hide the skin condition he had. But when we saw it, we were like, man, that's fucking cool, right? You glitter and glow. Then we finally found out like, oh shit, that's why he was doing it, wow, right? So this is someone that has an ulterior motive here. This woman in the blue shirt who has this bitch lying to you and this one, she, this one in the middle just don't know who the fuck she wanna. I feel like this one in the middle, uh, if this is like a mom and two sisters, the one in the middle like really hates the mom but don't know who she is without the mom and this type of shit. But yeah, the glove about to get ripped off the, uh, The person who planned this shit, which I feel like is an older woman. There is a middle person who has no spine, no brain, no nothing. So you can't really blame. You can just put baby powder in your hand. And, well, no, I said don't batter the bird. So no, you can't do that. <sighs> Get the baby powder off. My bad. See how I was just uh, condoning that shit? Don't. Don't. No. Okay. 
Uh, it's crossing the line, pal. Okay? Uh, but yes, you about to find out who was really behind the shit. So basically what they're telling me, Divine Masculine, is the person that's lying to your face. I mean, yeah, fuck them. But it's somebody else who put them up to this. The glitter glove. There's something in it for this person that they're trying to hide. Like, oh no, we're, we're doing it because we love you, Tom. Like, no, nah, bitch, you doing it because you ain't got no motherfucking where to live, uh, bitch. That's why you doing it. You don't love Tom, bitch. It could have been anybody is what this is. Ooh, hey. Somebody's plan is about to be exposed or someone is being exposed, divine masculine, or they will be in the next seven days. Somebody uh, actually tried to do something to a condom here, a glove here. Somebody want a Timmy, a Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, or is lying about a condom and a Timmy or something like that. Somebody's lying about a condom and a kid or something more. I don't know. I just know your people's involved, G. Some bitches and shit. That's all I know. Okay? Okay. I feel like somebody is trying to, like, make someone... Uh, not look appealing to someone else, Divine Masculine. I feel like someone's trying to make you look like, uh, like a uh, young punk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that shit sound like my papa and shit. Yeah, basically, dude. Like somebody trying to make you look bad in front of some people or in front of your family or a business or some shit. I don't fucking know. Especially if you like a, a musician. This could be you too, Divine Feminine. Uh, something you do very well. Someone's trying to make you look bad and shit. They said like a young punk though. It's a lot of money out in this motherfucker though. Ten of Pentacles. So I know why they're doing it. So now someone's going to be like, it's almost like you bounce from back from whatever this is, Divine Masculine, and you come out on top. So now one of the people that were involved in this plan are going to come try to ride your balls and shit like they wasn't part of the plan. Yes, the fuck you was. Shit. It's a lot of liars around you, man. Okay. Balloon. These are thoughts with this Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody just make up. I'm telling you this motherfucking Jessica G. For some of y'all that's just wondering, because I know I don't really tell the story about Jessica much, because damn, you know what I'm saying? That bitch was like a pug in a rug type shit, right? We was kicking it hard. But this bitch was a liar, liar. Like she couldn't even like, like the bitch had me at the motherfucking airport, G, okay? With my luggage on it. Before uh, the whole catastrophe happened, right? Before they would check us all. I don't want to say what event happened, but y'all know before they had all the metal, we had to take our shoes off and shit, right? Before all that happened, right? I was going to go visit my sister. Uh, and so me and Jessica and like, she just happened. She, you know how a bitch just kick it with the, you know what I'm saying? For those that like hang out, like just bitches come and go through the hood, through friend groups or whatever, right? So she was one of them. Right, so she was kicking it. This bitch so called had a navigator, but that's a story for another day. I'm going to visit my sister. I said I was going to visit my sister. She like, oh, I want to go. Right, my sister cool like that. She didn't give a fuck. She young, you know what I mean? Got her own spot. Like yeah. So she like, I'll pay for the tickets, and I'm like, why would this bitch pay for my ticket? But you know me, I'm like, fuck it, bitch, pay for it, right? I sat there while the bitch bought the tickets. We go to the airport, G. Like a week later, we go to the airport, her mama drop us off. We get there, they say there is no fucking ticket. Now, it's relevant be about me saying this was before the catastrophe happened because back then, well, maybe they still do. I checked my shit at the curb. She checked her shit and I was wondering, I'm like, why this bitch got a little bitty ass suitcase, G? Like her suitcase was like little as fuck and we were going for like two weeks. I should have picked up on it then, but I was like, mm, I don't know, maybe the bitch just a light fucking traveler, I don't know, right? Man, there was no motherfucking ticket. Okay, and this bitch was sitting there arguing with the lady at the fucking desk and shit, talking about there was a ticket. Like, going back and forth, knowing damn well that that ticket had been canceled. She did buy it, but she stole it, her grandma's credit card, uh, which I should have known. But shit, bitch, you said you could pay for it, so shit, how would I know? But the fact that she let us go to the airport is my point, people. Okay, she let it go that far where my luggage was stuck in fucking a whole nother state, okay? That type of shit. And then her mama gonna come get us talking about Jessica. I can't believe you let this happened and get this far and the mama knows she a pathological liar g this this type of bitch how your luggage fucking flying without your motherfucking ass have you thinking she done bought your ticket g we got i'm gonna tell you the navigator story because it's this this type of bitch we driving down sauce and g in a navigator she had it for a while so we thought it was hers we got pulled over okay they pull us all out the motherfucking car and say this car is basically stolen the rental car place wants the car back she argued with the police, swearing up and down this was her car. They're like, fucking ma'am. Do you, like, you know what I mean? They told that bitch to get help. Like, she was insistent. Like, they had to stop her. Like, bitch, 
bitch. This type of shit. Okay? Like, they can't help it. You're dealing with someone like this divine masculine. Fucking Jessica. Uh, somebody probably battered that bird eventually for the way she'd be fucking lying. Okay? I would not be surprised. But that's what the fuck this is. Okay? Uh, watch out. This is a dangerous motherfucker. Somebody's actually trying to have your child or lie about a child or something. She did that shit too. Uh, yeah, she did that too. This bitch wore scrubs every day, swore she worked at the hospital, but was smoking weed with us every day, G. It was like, no, I work at the hospital. We like when? She like, I went this morning. Bitch, we been out all night. Like, she was one of them. Like, cool, cool. Like, I feel like you have one of these, G. You do. She, somebody may be needing to go get some help. That could be what this is. Maybe that's where they're going. You ain't gonna hear from her for a while. Cause something is really wrong with someone, G. Real shit. Ooh. Why are you reading so, uh? And shit, yeah, it was motherfucking Jessica Mama in the blue shirt. Sorry to keep going back to this shit, but yeah, I don't know what the ulterior motive was, but Jessica Mama. And Jessica did have a sister, and the sister was actually cool and knew that the whole fucking family was crazy and couldn't wait to get out. She was in the middle and shit all the time, but would always be fighting. Like, they'd be fist fighting her and Jessica and shit. And I used to be wondering, like, why the sister always be wanting to whoop on Jessica ass? The same reason you want to fuck Jessica up too, none? Uh, same reason. But ain't nobody saying shit. You trying to figure out what the fuck going on. It's the same shit, G. It's the same fucking shit. It's like a whole family, a group of all of them fucked up or some shit like that. I get it from my mama. Yeah, basically. Ooh. Okay, put one on the ice queen. Where we at? Shit, can we be done? I don't really like your reading too much. It's real. You need to pay attention on this. Put one on the parakeet getting close to. It's going to be icy uh, for some of you guys who live outside of like a city, like in a suburb. It's going to be icy out in the next seven days like black ice be careful <clears throat> somebody also is, needs to put the bird or the pets inside during some ice storm or snow or something that'll be happening in the next seven days somebody's gonna actually leave the bird or something out and they're gonna lie about what happened to charlie they are they left that motherfucker outside uh, it is frozen now. You would have to thaw that bird out to even fucking get batter on it. Okay. <laughs> that batter ain't gonna stick to no frozen bird. I don't know what the fuck we're talking about now. Okay. Put one on getting close to with the uh, ice queen here. I feel like somebody got a chicken restaurant or something. You let me know how that do. How many, <laughs> they said in how many I was poison.com reviews you get. That's fucked up. Uh, I don't know about the chicken place, okay? It's cold chicken, though. I don't know. Y'all make, I don't even know what y'all making. Let me move on. Yeah, cock frost. Yeah, that's what it means, you know. Cold chicken. This me? Hmm. Anyway, somebody was trying to keep somebody away from me. But anyway, uh, Divine Masculine, this is the star with the wisdom tooth. This is you being known for being smart, right? A healer, known just for a public figure. You stand out amongst the crowd. Uh, you're educated, intelligent, and all this other shit. Uh, you may be keeping that to yourself in the next seven days, or you just kind of move like this. Uh, it's almost like you come out and express it when you have to and then you go back into your little cage is what this is divine masculine you may uh come out and present something and when you're done you go back at home it's almost like uh your job is done your work is done or something like that in regards to like actual work whatever it is you do I feel like you're about to create something produce something showcase something uh and you may have been keeping this under wraps until it's ready I see you presenting it Someone is going to try to, like, put your fire out, they said. Stop you from putting this out. I don't know why, but they are. 
someone knows that you're rising, you're healing, you're doing something for yourself, basically self-love, someone knows that. Someone could also know you may want to reconcile with someone that you're thinking about reconciling with someone and someone definitely wants to, multiple people want to stop you from doing something divine masculine. For sure, it's women, okay, that are very close to you. All have a hand in this mixing together to stop you from going towards someone, something, or someplace. That is for sure. Uh, you were getting very close to approaching this someone, something, someplace, or you are. Just expect resistance, G, in the next seven days. Yeah, you may get a little frustrated. Like, what the fuck? Uh, is all this fucking bullshit? Yeah, you're going to get into an argument with somebody. Uh, it may be via text. These, yep, bye, yep. Look, mangy, this is a mangy pussy uh, person you didn't smash, okay? I heard the homies did too, but that's neither here nor there. It's a bird. That's what happens with them, right? Look what's next to it. These hoes ain't loyal. No, they ain't. With the kite, which is a message. And then there's another kite. So this is you and someone else, a uh, 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 mangy pussy disloyal hoe, right? That you smashed and the homies, right? You and this person are having a conversation back and forth with I'm a hustler, baby. Damn, bitch, I'm working, is basically what this is. Screaming at somebody. Like, I'm busy, ho, what do you want? It's basically, someone's doing this on purpose. Anyway, in the next seven days, there's gonna be some obstacles, but they feel like people doing it, like bothering you on purpose, waking you up, frustrating you, causing problems, wanting to argue, uh, they need attention. Uh, their mama's nipple is sore, so she's not giving them breast milk. It's some shit like that, G. Somebody really wants your attention. A few people, mostly women, want your attention so bad. There is one out here that's trying to get away from the shit, though. There's somebody out here that doesn't even want to be in the spotlight. Like, I'm fucking cool. I really don't want people to know me wisdom tooth at all. I like it better when we were just a mom and fucking pop shop. Amen. Y'all remember when I used to say that shit all the time? Like, I like being in the alley way in the back. Nobody bothers us here. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's you, Divine Feminine. Like, I ain't really trying to be all, you know what I mean? In that shit or be known to be all, none of that shit. Divine uh, Masculine, Divine Feminine, right? I feel like both of you are being sought after someone, something, or something like that, that everyone else is seeking like there's a lot of let's say there's a lot of people after this one person this one person wants you and shit and you like i don't want to fucking be involved because at all uh i don't want anyone uh really i'm trying to heal some of y'all got a toothache and shit uh here is what i'm picking up on in the next seven days uh somebody has a cavity hey hey My dog barks in his sleep sometimes too. Uh, those that have dogs, you know. But anyway, yeah, somebody may have a cavity or a toothache in the next seven days. You're gonna end up going to the dentist, G. It's gonna be fine. They gonna give you a balloon and everything uh, when you leave. It's not gonna be bad at all. He gonna put his little gloves on. Uh, it's gonna go real fast. This is gonna be a recommendation from someone, uh, from a family member, and everything is gonna be right with the world, Divine Masculine, for whoever is having a toothache in the next seven days. It could be a kid that feels this way, too. Okay. Uh, if you're a musician, an artist, actor, dancer, or something, someone knows like literally word for word, whatever it is you're doing. Like they study you. Someone may try to say that they did something first before you put it out, Divine Masculine, before you did something. Someone may try to say you copied something. Uh, nobody believes that shit though. I did, whoever says this this liar out here, I'm telling you, they mama already know they a liar and don't really fuck with them. Only time the mama or their friends fuck with them is if they can benefit from the lie. That's the only time. But this person is like, this is like a liar who get used by other people who don't want to lie, G, but they know Jessica will do it. You know what I mean? Uh, but if Jessica just lying for Jessica, nah, I don't want no parts. But if Jessica lying and can get us all in the party, then sure, bitch, go on and lie. That's why I said, sure, bitch, pay for the ticket. Uh, but I didn't know she was a liar, though. You know what I'm saying? But I should have, though, because I should have picked up on the signs. But that was a long-ass time ago when the motherfucker was young. I went and pissed and shit on that bitch line, too, later on. So, I mean, 
that's that that was years later on some crazy shit that's my favorite line but that was just because what else could i do bitch you got my luggage my toothbrush everything shit was in a whole nother state i did end up going uh the same day my mama had to buy me a ticket and shit because she felt bad and shit all this other shit but i never saw that girl again after that so i should have known what the navigator is my whole point that's why i said it was my fault but yeah this is probably how you gonna feel too like me uh, you should have learned with the navigator and shit, but you still went to the fucking airport and uh, you know what I'm saying? Fucking fine establishment, three of pinnacles, uh, talking about you got a seat on this motherfucking plane and you don't. Okay. That's my whole point. Somebody maybe uh, have you looking like a fool in the next seven days, divine masculine, or this is someone else who's going to look real stupid, G. No doubt Jessica felt stupid, G after that you know what I mean but she was used to losing friends and people so she just went to another group and probably lied to their motherfucking ass I don't know because I didn't fuck with the bitch but this this type of shit so this could be somebody that you looked up to thought highly about uh, you know what I mean this could be someone like I don't want to just put them out on the street right this type of shit this bitch used to be in on the street g this bitch used to being treated like this uh is what this is this person is a very good liar and can make you believe uh, that they would have nowhere else to go and nah, they do. Or they just used to sleeping on the road. Like this ain't nothing new to this bitch basically is what, what I'm being told to tell you. Uh, whoever this liar is, is doing something purposely to keep you away from someone, someplace, something real shit. Wow. It's a spiritual practitioner out here lying and shit. This bitch think about eating, but she don't shit. She lie about eating. It's like somebody who chew up their food and spit it in something or some shit like that. Or lie to their fan or some shit like this, okay? Uh, teeth rotting out her motherfucking mouth and shit. Bitch, get some help. Fuck, why is you here? Because uh, you want to turn into a pillar of salt, they said. I said assault and battered bird. Did I not say that shit? Girl, you better watch your ass. Them little brittle ass motherfucking bones, bitch. I'm just saying. Anyway, let me keep moving. Uh, clarify this here for Divine Masculine here. Let's do one more round. I do see tarot readers kind of keeping quiet here. Spirit, the good ones too. Uh, here, star card with the tooth. Spiritual wisdom. What y'all, I mean, it's not that y'all keeping quiet and shit. Well... Some of y'all are keeping quiet and you're being told to keep quiet about certain things. Others of you out here are keeping quiet about some shit you need to be telling people uh, here. But you're uh, conflicted about if they're your own thoughts or if this is your intuition. This is why you don't like to give the messages. Uh, they said you'll know if you're vulnerable as far as being honest. Like I said, Jessica got me shit. But shit, I got Jessica too. Shit. Uh, basically, then I'll know. That's almost like if you honest with yourself like that, like, no, nah, I pissed this shit on her line uh, after. And didn't even tell my people why I had them stop. I was like, just pull over real quick. And they're like, who is this bitch? It was years later, I swear it was, G. I'm like, I don't like driving down. She lived like right across from the snooty and shit. What is that, like Western and like Hobart or something? Ooh, I just, well, I don't know if she still live there, but my bad girl, but shit, not really though. But yeah, somewhere up over there and shit. Don't know, ain't nobody missing no, uh, ain't gonna be looking at no piss and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. It's, it's over there. But my whole point is, some of y'all will be able to relay real messages if you keep it real about yourself, G. Then you'll, you won't feel bad. Shit. Uh, you done did some fucked up shit too. Even though you're of the light now and you are you talk proper and you're educated and all of that stuff right i know that uh is what this is but some of y'all uh are holding back messages because you don't want to like uh like kind of put this out there you want to keep things kind of a certain way but i mean say something positive well positive ain't where i live everybody ain't able to do what you do so that's why i'm like damn this shit really be going on and it fucking do shit it does uh so y'all need to give the messages as they come, okay? Now, if they all bad, then it's probably you, G. If they all good, then it's still probably you as far as you're just living in some, I don't know. And if they're all bad, you're living in some, I don't know. You know what I mean? But this is a job where uh, every reading really should be different, in my opinion. This is my opinion now. Because uh, energy changes. 
all the time. So why the fuck is the same shit coming out all the time? It must be fucking you. You know what I mean? It's this type of shit. Or some of y'all are holding back and it doesn't have to be like that. Some of you just, I mean, are iced the fuck out too. Shit. So divine masculine, I don't know why that's relevant. Maybe you just need to know. Shit, halt, my brother. Maybe you just got into tarot like that and it's a lot of magicians out here and you shaking hands and pushing likes on they shit because you think what they saying, man, these hoes lying and shit, okay? These bitches feeding their babies frozen pizzas and shit in the background. I'm seeing all this shit, uh, having them just watch TV all motherfucking day. I don't even know if the baby lying, cuz. Real shit, and this a bitch, you're like, bravo! Really? Okay. This bitch that don't have nowhere to live is gonna tell you how you gonna manifest a home? Okay. You can tell by the lamp or the table, they said, or whatever. Something. Something about somebody in a hotel. I said the snooty. Did I not say that shit? I hope you want a better one than that. Ew. Yeah, don't let them tell you how to manifest. It ain't hard to manifest a room at the snooty. It's not. Whether if it's the one on, what's that? Imperial or Western. Not that I know much about them, but I'm just saying. It's all about location. You know? Moving on. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a thought out here, G. It's too many whole uh, shits out here for me and bitches. But you know why I've been picking up on that sugar-free shit? Because I'm telling you. Motherfuckers got a whole pimp. I've been picking up on Sugar Free for a while. Some of y'all finding out somebody a hoe and they were claiming to be like a righteous woman or they come from some family or you, maybe they do. Shit, they possibly could do all that shit. It still don't make them not a hoe. Some of y'all are gonna learn you turned a hoe into a housewife or you tried. Now this, this is one of them occasions where the home is not doing it right. I mean, he found him a hoe that he lied, but you can't make a hoe a housewife. Why? Basically. And when it all boils down, you're going to find in the end, a bitch is a bitch, but a dog is a man's best friend. So what you find, you a hoe that you like. But you can't make a hoe a house. Why? Why? Boom, I don't, I don't, boom. Yeah. A burn out. A burn out. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. That's basically what goes on in the next seven days. Ooh. Yep. It's a false one. Aaliyah came out, but it's with the sit on each slice of this slick Rick. This is not a divine feminine here. I'm telling you, y'all got dupe, G, is what this is. Uh, with the, If somebody's with you or at you, I don't know. I, I don't want to make it sound like that because that's real fucked up what I'm about to say, but it's true though, G. That's what I was trying to tell the other tarot readers. Like, yeah, I don't want to say it, but I fucking am. Uh, somebody just with you for money, uh, divine masculine, what you can give them. Some of you guys invested in a business or you're helping these people, these women out with some shit. That's why they're your friend. That's why they're your, that's like my brother. That's what I heard. He's like my brother. Uh, if you wasn't paying for shit or having this big ass party or that dick, I don't feel like you'd be like her brother and shit. Real shit. She'd be like, uh, bye boy. Look, uh, who is you? This, this type of shit. You hang around bitches like this, uh, in the next seven days. But you're finding out that they are not a divine feminine. It ain't that many of us, G. Uh, so real shit. Everybody can watch the videos and it's great. And we can all strive to be. You know what I mean? But there are a certain chosen. And then there are others that are, uh, you know what I mean? Just enlightened, awakened people. Not everybody is a, a literal, like, divine, masculine, feminine. Real shit. That is uh, a falsehood to believe that shit. I ain't even about to say what y'all just said, but that is some real shit too, but that's a little touchy, okay? Yeah. Uh, but you're about to find out. Yes. Somebody heard the lingo. Some bitch around you. So whoever this woman is may have got you into tarot, divine masculine. So she learned what a divine baby it was first. Got the lingo down, put the gloss on, came in the room. <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Flashed her shit. He was like, shit. She's like, I am. remember I told you I saw Ali in that other reading, but it was Village of the Damn, right? Or Queen of the Damn, Village of the Damn, whatever. They all damn shit, right? Uh, that's what this is. I feel like somebody mask coming off, G, and you're like, yeah, you're no fucking Ali, G. You're no fucking Ali at all, G. Yeah. Somebody lying about knowing her, knowing her brother. Uh, some shit and her brother like bitch I ain't never motherfucking know you bitch and my sister ain't fucking somebody lying out here about knowing what okay like yeah we was cool okay uh, I'm telling you Jessica G Jessica would argue with you Jessica would say she talked to Aaliyah today my nigga 
Jessica would argue. You'd be like, man, Jessica, Ali has been gone for like a long time, G. She'd be like, I swear I talked to her today and will stare at you in your face. This, this motherfucker, I'm telling you. Woo! Stay away from whoever this is. Some of y'all, this is a, a somebody in your family that just lie. Uh, real shit. This person could have a son. Or, yeah, and I don't even, yeah. Okay. Another news, divine masculine. You did manifest the real divine feminine, right? You did. Magician here. You thought her up. She came. Y'all connecting and everything. She really did appear. But I feel like when she got wind of this shit, because a real one is tapped in like a motherfucker. That's why the star with the wisdom tooth is here. And it's the ice queen. Uh, we'll see what comes out because I feel like this is divine feminine, even though Aaliyah came out over here. But you you thought the other one was her. But no, nah, the real one dipped the fuck out because she don't want no, no, no parts of that shit. Like I saw all I had to see. I'm going to thank you all for coming out. God bless you. Good night. Basically, uh, hit y'all with the fucking Russell Simmons and shit basically is what this is. OK. Uh, But yeah, you finding out somebody who gays it. OK. Yeah, they said, none of you bum bitches can't sit with me and Gretchen. So I don't know who Gretchen is, but shout out to Nikki. But that's what this is making me feel like, like royalty, like, ew. Like, you hang out with them? Like, no, I, I can't even be associated with you, her that even thinks she's me or us and, or none of that. Like, it's too yucky and sticky and all of that. Somebody may be excusing themselves from your life, Divine Masculine, because of all this shit you got going on at the fucking pizza parlor, y'all. Real shit. Ooh, somebody lying about how old they are. Somebody is uh, plagiarizing some music here. Somebody's pretending to be, yeah. You hear, uh, my, all my shit always start talking and shit whenever I start talking about a bum bitch. Keep a wet wipe, yeah, in case a bum bitch try to touch me. L, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, this a dirty bitch, uh, whoever this is, but yeah. Somebody's a dancer too. Uh, they do. They either strip, a lady of the night, or something. Or something going on here, and it ain't nothing against them. This is me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right before y'all start judging, uh, cause some of them cool and shit. But they, all the ones that's cool that I know, like are like really on some awakened, like enlightened shit. They keep it a stag, G. This a bitch that don't even keep it a stack. And she the brokest motherfucking hoe I done ever seen and shit. Like, bitch, why is you, uh, that's, you, yeah, you would have to lie about hoeing if you wasn't getting no money. That's a disgrace to the whole, uh, whole world. Shit, the whole, whole population. Like, bitch, you the worst hoe ever. How you not make it, so you basically just fucking for free. So you're like basically any other of us out here that just basically get fucked and left. Uh, except you do it voluntarily and shit and think you're gonna. So you get robbed for pussy. Uh, that's basically what's going on when you break it all down to the common denominator, G. That this is Jessica. Be like, no, I make money. I do this. No, you don't, bitch. No, you don't. How? Uh, you're always with us. This is this type of, oh my God. Divine masculine. What is this? Woo! Somebody's going to like voice over, do a voice over or someone's going to, uh, yeah, somebody, I keep hearing that, uh, I know she got it cause she looking at me like she want it, want it. She drop it low, man, I want to throw some D's on it. Whatever it is, she can't stop it. Yeah. Somebody get low when they own that pole, Knight of Wands. Yes. And it glitters something. I don't know. Okay. This is somebody got a whole different life, okay? You're going to find out, Divine Masculine, that somebody straight be tricking after 5 p.m., okay? When the, when it go night-night and the stars come out, this her, okay? I don't know why she lying about the shit. Maybe this this woman lying to her family, too. Uh, She probably is. For somebody, somebody accidentally going to meet their brother on the stroll. They don't know it's their brother because they brother pick up prostitutes or whatever the fuck. However y'all do that shit now, right? Uh, they pick up their own motherfucking sister, cuz. Or their son. Somebody pick up their own son. I don't feel like they do nothing, Hulk. Right? I don't feel like they do shit. But how the fuck you gonna explain to your son? 
or your sister or brother or some shit while you out here selling pussy. That's what's going to happen. They going to pick up their daddy or some shit. Watch. That's how, uh, now that is karma. Okay. Fuck you going to explain that. I don't know why they didn't know about the picture though. I got a lot of questions, but I'm going to move on because we ain't got time. Some broad's job is over here. You, uh, Tommy don't have a job or Jessica, whoever. I don't know. Moving on. One on the uh, magician here with the knight of cups in the balloon. Yo, shit's just full of fucking lies, G. Basically, you're reading. Like, sadly, I fucking resonate on your end as far as dealing with a lot of fucking liars. That's why I can spot one a mile away. They always tell on themselves and shit. Uh, they get cocky and shit. They get too fucking comfortable. And they always tell on themselves, G. And you scratch a liar, you find a thief. I wouldn't be surprised if that bony bitch was the one behind uh, all that other shit that's been going on on Instagram. I put that shit on everything, G. I would not be fucking surprised. I didn't get that message, so this is my opinion, but I wouldn't be surprised. If, if this is what's going on and... I mean, shit. You know? I don't know. I mean, it's her and three other people. We keep knowing... We know that. If that's the case, but I kind of feel like it is you. This kind of says it is you. But <sighs> we'll all come together like X-Men and figure it out. We will. Anyway, put one on the magician with the knight of uh, cups and the balloon. Look, this funky mo- Did I not say the snooty, G? Did I not fucking say that shit? If you're from L.A., you know what the fuck I'm talking about, G. This funky motel room sex, G. This Ike and Tina, I know what the fuck I be talking about. Yes. He know what the fuck I be talking about, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's my L.A. people that know what the fuck I be talking about. Yes. It's, it's uh, this like, Divine Masculine, you gonna find out somebody got a whole other life, G. Like, real shit. Like, these people, I feel like somebody out here, like, I don't know if they smoke meth or a crack or whatever the fuck, but this give me a whole baking soda, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, and all that shit, you know? Like, uh, somebody may have, this always gives me, like, scars, burn marks and scars, so somebody could be covering up. You could notice somebody's always cover. I told you, or they a man, G. Why, why Aaliyah got the Knight of Wands, G? The Knight of Wands is the man holding the pole. And I damn sure know she didn't have one of them. I mean, I didn't know her personally like, like Jessica claimed it to, right? But I just feel like, I mean, I, we can all pretty much agree that that was all woman, right? I feel like somebody, Tina do got a strong face, G. And we know Tina a woman, but I'm just saying, somebody got a strong, I, to, I showed you that nose, okay? It's something up with like a transgender person here as well. Or someone that turned into a woman or, and again, nothing against that. But I feel like this person here that I'm picking up on is lying. So this is Jessica who will have really been Jesse trying to convince me that, no, I'm really Jessica. And it's a whole dick hanging there. Like, that's not a dick you see. And I would be like, Jesse, yes, it is. And like, my name is Jessica. We the other person, right? And that is not a dick. And we just be arguing back and forth about what the fuck we see. That's basically what the fuck this is, G. Somebody like high or... I feel like maybe you didn't know. Like this person is high and a liar, G. Okay? I've known some of the fucking best. That's why I'm like, this shit... I mean, not saying like that, but shit. I done been around the world and I yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't smoking no crack or nothing, but shit. We done all dabbled in a little something. I mean, this group... You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. That's why we know a lot of shit about a lot of shit. And we ain't got to say a lot of shit about a lot of shit. But we see, you know, is what this is here. Uh, Divine Masculine. I don't know why you didn't pick up on this or... I feel like you were sexually or or maybe you not. I don't know. If it's the whole transgender thing, you may stop and be like, hold up. Ho, 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 ho. You know what I mean? Like, I, I knew something was wrong crazy shit is this person's friends knew that this was a uh, like a transgender woman is what they're saying and someone let let you believe that this was a whole woman when it I mean like it's just not G I mean shit sorry if it's a touchy subject but that's what the fuck it say shit this person knew that you had somewhere you were headed divine feminine job 
home, you were leaving out the state, creating something, this person knew, even if it's not a transgender woman, aside from that, whoever the fuck this is. If that's not the case, this is just someone who wanted something from you so bad they were willing to do whatever they needed to do to achieve it and keep you from going where you were going, G. Total karmic relationship here is what the fuck this is. Someone actually planned this out because the thoughts are on Tina's side. And this bitch proud to do it. This somebody who laced they blunt too, laced they weed and shit. Uh, this person gonna have legal troubles. Yeah, you the one with the uh, talent. It say here, I don't need no motherfucking help. It say you the one with the fucking rhythm. Shit, is what it say. But you also the one that be battering that bird. That I'm not, not to be like that, G. But look, I'm telling y'all, my even my motherfucking, my shit don't lie neither. Yeah, you've been dealing with this person for a while, whoever this is. This person may have been around for your rises and your falls, but they said they were responsible for a lot of those falls. It's almost like you're you're the type of person where you're like, no, they stuck with me through everything, right? This you, they stuck with me through everything, right? And it's almost like they're making me feel like, yeah, but they the reason your ass went through everything. Like, <laughs> somebody like, no, but I love her. Who the fuck is this, G? Somebody riding for this bitch, okay? And this broad line, your family right, or whoever this is that been trying to tell you, and you been like, nah, 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 right? You about to find out you was wrong, G, or this is somebody else, G, that was like sticking up for somebody, and this bitch a whole fucking Jessica, G. Real shit. Oh my goodness. No disrespect to the Jessicas out there, but I met, a I met one that make me shiver whenever I meet another one, shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to associate with you, bitch, on the count of another hoe. Have a good day, Jessica, basically, uh, is what this is. Yeah, somebody wants to ride your coattails for those that are in the spotlight. This could be you too, Divine Feminine. You're out here. If this is you, Divine Feminine, you resonate with this message, right? In some type of weird-ass way, bitch, I don't know. Uh, you have a lot of bitches that want to, like, cling on to you. Uh, be careful of that. Okay? They don't want to be your friend. Hey, sis. Hey, 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 hey. All of that. Be careful, okay? Uh, the glove about to be ripped off a lot of these bitches, too. Just so you know. Uh, they in karmic relationships or they was put, they man, Ike looking at you. And now, uh, the bitch that was, hey, sissy, you mad at you because Ike looking at you now. I mean, why the fuck wouldn't Ike look at, I mean, like, oh, shit, bitch, it's coming, fuck it, sis. But that ain't my motherfucking fault, Tina. You got that strong ass motherfucking face. <laughs> bitch, what the fuck? This like shit you can't even help. Divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? Where people is going just go be mad at you, G. Uh, there is a masculine uh, thinking about you, connecting with you and still physically connected to a karmic here. Uh, that shit's about to get physically abusive. Uh, so be careful, divine masculine. I don't know if she put her hands on you, G, but I mean, don't batter that bird. Don't batter that bird. That's going to be the name of your reading. I see why if this divine, I can't wait to put some over here because I feel like this is you divine feminine over here. Like I kind of know in the spirit. That's why I fucking dip, G. When I dip, you dip, we dip, right? <laughs> the divine university bus honks. It was like, that's your cue, bitch, to get the fuck out. Divine masculine, some divine feminines got some intuitive messages about some shit you got going on. This could be some shit you not happy about. I see y'all out here having threesomes and shit and or somebody messing around with one of the women with the weird nose or the mama in the, you know what I'm saying, with the burns in the mess lab. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on, G? Uh, mm. Damn. They said batter bird is a metaphor for whoever this is is going to try to put makeup on the cover up some, like, black eye or some bruises. Like, batter is like, you know, cake, like makeup, powder, foundation, Batter bird. Damn. I hope, I mean, shit, we know how I got the fuck down, G. That's why I'm like, I told y'all before we were even like into the shit that I felt it. Look at them strong ass motherfucking hands. Shit. You crazy? This was him in the booth. Did I say the music musician? Okay. In high school house. Yeah. The people keep the sin. It's not much. Yes. And he didn't need no motherfucking help. Shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's when shit just went, like, you don't even want to see no more. Like, fast forward. I don't want to see Miss Turner or Miss Bassett. You know what I'm saying? Turning to Miss Bassett how? 
Shout out to, uh, what's her name? Kaya and shit. Yo ass crazy as hell though. But I love her ass. She be having me dying. But yes, don't nobody want to see that shit. Uh, but that's what this is, Divine Masculine. Be careful. It's not funny, but y'all saw what's love got to do with it. Because you did. Shit, don't act like I'm the only one. Somebody want to be famous and known so bad, they going to be known. You see how Tina ran up in that hotel and shit at the end? That motherfucker remembered her for life. Like, yeah, bitch, I know you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I would have been dropping that key like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Hold your palm out, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Shit going around. Here you go. And where is your pimp, ma'am? And that's her whole husband and shit. But I would assume the same damn thing. Like, don't leave your ass whooping like that. You owe somebody, bitch. You ain't coming up in here asking for a free hotel room. You owe somebody, bitch, and you owe me too. Like, I might just, I might batter that bird, bitch. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> Whoever is up in here is so raw, G. I mean, I know who it is, but y'all just hella fucking disrespectful but funny as fuck because... It's true, though. On some other shit, they making me feel like this is Tina's fault, G. <laughs> uh, she's the reason she becomes a batter bird. It's like, you know, I mean, it's Ike's fault, too, for battering the bird, right? So don't you be Ike Divine Masculine in this situation here. But I feel like uh, some of y'all have been. For others of you, this is just a toxic relationship. Drugs, alcohol, partying, and all this other shit. And there's no way this bitch is a divine feminine having you in this type of environment or encouraging this or and not even encouraging it like you ain't an adult, but it's like, damn, who's the voice of reason eventually? Like, we should go home and drink water and heal and brush our teeth. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you know, not, not the snooty, not them. No. Somebody up in here in a funky-ass motel, G., uh, doing drugs and fucking, G. Real shit and eating fast food and ordering. I'm telling you. It's like a funky trap house, but dope house with holes in it, G. Okay. Who this? Uh, Divine. That's, maybe that's why y'all Claw, Claw, Claude. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody's name could be Claude. Uh, but maybe that's why you guys crawled into our reading yesterday, Divine. Like, bitch, I'm on the motherfucking arc, bitch. I don't know these people. I feel like this could be past people, Divine Masculine. You could be getting out of situations like this and these people trying to stop you because you're headed towards the arc. So this is like, uh, so let's say you're like a mile ahead, right? Headed to the arc. You're like, nah, nah, this, this us. I'm the ice king, right? Hell no, nah, I know what the fuck going on. I'm trying to heal, pray, right? All that shit. Uh, they like a mile or two behind you, G. You need to know you're being like followed, watched, like someone's still determined to stop you. They want something, period. Damn, this shit crazy. <laughs> I hope my shit don't get, uh, well, shit, they don't give me money anyway. Somebody left a comment was like, if you were smart, you would monetize. I'm like, you must be new, bitch. They don't let you say pussy, dick, and fuck and get a fucking Sargento fucking commercial with cheese in it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to get no Johnson and Johnson uh, shit after that. Okay? Come on. I had to laugh. Like, I didn't even respond, but it was just funny because I read the comments and shit. But that shit was funny. Like, why, why haven't I never thought of that? Like, come on, simpleton. Uh, anyway... My whole point to saying that was, I mean, shit, flag it for what? There's nothing, you know what I mean? Like, why? Uh, you know? Like, what are you going to stop? How do you stop nothing? You know what I mean? Shit. Michael Jackson. Bitch, I knew this was you. It, it, this could be the Divine Feminine. If you, if this, she had already come out, and this is my Divine Feminine card, this best that had to come out, like someone great. Better had to come out like the fucking godfather of somebody. But yeah, we'll take pretty young thing. I'll take you too. Uh, Divine Feminine, this is you. Looking good, healing, your skin is pretty, uh, all type of shit. You definitely have a lot of spiritual protection around you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Uh, it says my brothers, but it's with the star. So you guys have a lot of masculine uh, spiritual energy around you. Some of them are children, I heard. Children to me could be shit. 21 and younger really so these could have been people you lost when you were young they're still kind of like i don't know they still have their innocence they said 
at that time. Like they still hold that innocence, that light. Like they're more lighter than the others because they were still kind of innocent. They're saying, I don't know. But I knew this was you, Divine Feminine. They told them, look, don't you ever come around here. Look, you check in your, uh, I told you, Divine Masculine, yes. Check behind you. These people following you, G, trying to make sure you don't get on the art. But yes, Divine Feminine, that's you too. Uh, but you know they following you. Because you the fucking goat, Divine Masculine, you too. I told you, some of y'all are artists. You just, I mean, just look good, self-esteem. You feel good about yourself. You give to other people. Uh, you can be a little crazy sometimes, thrilling when you need to. But, I mean, shit, you the life of the party. Everybody wants to know you, get to know you, some shit like that. Whoever these people are in your past, okay, they're trying to figure. It's multiple. They may have all, all these losers have come together, okay? Uh, it's like a group of motherfuckers you don't fuck with have all like come together like a big transformer and shit to try to stop you from getting to where you're going, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. Okay? This like Tina, Jackie, uh, I don't remember what the other lady name was in the group, but like all of them just, you know what I'm saying, jump on Ike and shit. Lorraine, but you already knew she was a thriller from Manila. You know what I mean? Like, it's some crazy shit out here. Uh, it's definitely a Lorraine out here, too. That's probably who this is. Who thought she was the bomb until Tina came around. They both was on some karmic shit, though, because like I said, Tina was uh, in the wrong for spending the night at that man house while Lorraine was there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying Lorraine deserved to pull a gun out on the bitch, but bitch, you in my motherfucking man house or our house or whatever, bitch, we got children. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but Tina put herself in that situation. I feel like you dealt with people like this or this is what's going on, buddy. Right? And you trying to come fuck with us and we got our cloak on like, hell no. Basically, is what's going on in the next seven days. Divine masculine. Excuse me for screaming in your ear like that. But basically, that's what's going on. I felt that very strong because... For an hour and 21 minutes, it's been about Jessica, Batter Birds, the Snooty Fox, Dope, uh, all types of shit, pizza parties, and like, what the fuck? It's too much uh, for us, uh, for the Divine Feminine, okay? Uh, divine Masculine. Now, again, I feel like for the majority of you, you may not even know this is going on, or you, sep or you do, and you're separating from this, and you're headed towards the arc, which is why your energy was so high in divine feminine shit. Cause remember you were trying to get away or you were stuck somewhere. This is Ike not looking happy on the picture and shit. Tina look more loving than he do. Like, man, I hate this motherfucker. That's probably why he did what he did to her. And somebody out here also is like undercover, like uh gay. There's a man out here that be abuses and beats on women and treats them bad. Cause he like men, G. Or you like men that are women, transgender women or some shit, some shit like that. Uh, so I don't know what the fuck going on. Okay. Crazy shit. I feel like is all of his karmic here. That's what this whole shit is. Like, I mean, fuck, I don't even want to pull nothing else, but I feel like if I leave it at that, that just feels like nasty. Like <laughs> they just showed me a big turd in the toilet. Basically. Yeah. Like I didn't even flush it or nothing. Like, uh, who's just would be so it, that's how I felt. Uh, if I just walk out like that. So I have to figure out how to end this reading. Cause yeah, that ain't cool. Uh, where is divine masculine in this reading? Let's find out where you are. Cause shit. I feel like somebody don't want no parts of it, regardless where the fuck you are. Two miles away, three miles away, right on our ass. I feel like Divine Feminine, like, uh-uh. Because uh, you kind of just left doors open is what it feels like, Divine Masculine. Like, you kind of, that's why I said in the beginning, somebody's sneaking away. I do know why, but these people ain't about to let you get away. That It's like some, you got to close your doors before you open up new ones, G. Uh... Where is Divine Masculine in this reading? What's going, where is he like physically in the next seven days? While all this malarkey. Damn, look what came out. Mad at you, house. <laughs> uh, the ladder to success came out too. This is a, uh, my Jacob's ladder, angels ascending and descending. But this is you trying to work, get stable stability, and you in the middle of some bullshit. This is shit you trying to get out of. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the, it just says so much, G. It does. This is you trying to, like, uh, get your shit together and people just wanting your attention and you know it. But I told you don't batter that bird. Did I not say that shit? 
Okay. That's where you are physically. Fucking angry, G. It's like they want to see that shit. They want to. I feel like you were, like, trying to ignore it and shit. And finally, I mean... But you know what? Actually, you don't. I feel like maybe you get mad. This like hanging up the phone and just like going, you know what I mean? Like just mad and shit, but you don't actually handle the situation like that. But you do let that shit out. You let the energy out for sure. But you still keep your head up. That's what this is. Still climbing the ladder to success. You still stable. So I feel like you get through this, but you, make sure you let this energy out, but not on no bot. Man, don't batter that bird, they said. You saw her running to the police, I told you. I mean... Not saying that you should be hitting on people when they shouldn't. You know what I mean? It's everybody different. Now, let's just say that, okay? So, if this is a police person, right? If this is a pedestrian, a civilian, and shit, expect them to fucking go to the police. That's what civilians do. If this is not just a regular civilian, this shit, I mean, it may be some angry fella showing up to you. You know what I mean? This, this type of shit. But it's almost like a... Something's going to get handled here, okay, Divine Masculine? By the petty people is what I'm saying. Not by you, like you would do that. But I'm just saying, like, someone's not willing to just let something go, let you walk away that easy. You are going to get frustrated. This is where you are physically in this shit. Yeah, but this is my Chick-fil-A card. Would you like Polynesian sauce card? So some of y'all are already at a job you don't want to be at, working somewhere you don't really like. You They working you, you know what I'm saying? You just trying to get, get up to the top, you know what I'm saying? Pay your bills, live your life, and people fucking with you. Because this is, would you like more Polynesian sauce, please? Okay? Uh, that's what that card is. This is also whoever these people are. They are also, uh, no, nothing against Chick-fil-A, but this is my Chick-fil-A card. This is my drive through window card, and I, I don't want to work here card. Uh, whoever is doing this to you, they're not happy with where they are in life. This is somebody who's just as equally as this person may come at you like this to try to get you in this energy to throw you off your stability. But you have a fucking home. Remember, I told you this person don't even live nowhere and shit. This somebody who fucking sleep on the playground uh, at the Chick-fil-A. I, I don't know. Outside under the table. I don't know. This is somebody who wants you to feel like them right now. Divine masculine. And where you are is way more comfortable, way better than where they are. So don't let them get you out of pocket. Because there's a lot of wands out here, G. There's a lot of wands out here. And that's physical shit. But yeah, this demon gonna chase you. I told you, it's chasing you all the way to the art, G. It is. Damn. It's a madass man out here, G. If this is not you, and let's say, like, I mean, this is you, because I asked where you are, yes. And I feel like, yeah, you get this angry with this bird, too, and this, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck you mean you ain't got Polynesian sauce, bitch? Right? This type of shit. I feel like somebody else pull up, right? When you drive off and you be like, fuck it, I got Polynesian at home, they always give me extra, right? Somebody else pull up after you, right, and ask for Polynesian, and they say the same shit, right? We don't have Polynesian today. And this motherfucker, don't you know that I lock her, Right? This person uh, may be treated even worse. Like, say you left all these situations. These people are getting treated even worse by someone else, something else, right? Their suffering even more has nothing to do with you. But, but because you're divine masculine, they want you to suffer, G. It's not even your fault why they're going through a lot of the shit they're going through. You separated yourself, which is what you're supposed to do. And other things are going wrong in their life. But everything is your fault, saying that sarcastically, G, okay? You're going to have to make a decision to stabilize the energy within yourself, they said, in the next seven days. Because you, for real, you're going to get angry as fuck, uh, is what this is. Yeah, this walking on eggshells. Uh, I'm telling you, when a motherfucking hand starts shaking or you just start sh officially, okay? Somebody's hands are registered, too. Somebody's a registered uh, Aerosmith. <laughs> is that? I thought that was a band. But no, they said an, a Bozeman too, a Bozeman. I thought it, they said an Aerosmith slash Bozeman. Someone is uh, like certified. Yeah, so somebody legally allowed to fucking get on that Peter Pan shit and fuck somebody up, some Robin Hood shit, okay? And fuck somebody up uh, basically is what goes on here. Somebody is like uh, lethal divine masculine. This is where you are in this shit. So if it gets shaky like that, you're going to have to stabilize the shit. It's just Polynesian sauce. Using that as an example, it's just a, a broke bitch uh, that sleeps at a park that, you know what I mean, ain't happy about their, I mean, it's something like that or someone you left, family members, like it's some shit like that. Like their life is shaky. They don't know what they're going to do. They don't want to work uh, in the customer service, but they have to, but it's your fault and 
call it. Or this you shit. Don't entertain that shit. Especially if they ain't bringing nuggets or nothing to the motherfucking table. Because this motherfucker ain't got no uh Chick-fil-A strips or nothing on it. Like, bitch, do better, bitch. You ain't even call and, and say you was bringing some shit. No waffle fries or nothing. Like a bitch coming empty-handed too and talking shit. I see why you start shaking. Shit. Like, bitch, you don't never even have shit. <laughs> shit. Woo. I must go soon. I can't. I'm just trying to figure out where you are physically. And it's damn near about to, like, put batter the bird, G. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. They said chick, like C-H-I-C-K, like a lady. Yep. Don't batter that bird. <laughs> What's up with this? These chi- I, don't, I feel like something, like, astronomical was going to happen with chicken, G. The way all these chicken references been coming out for, like, a whole month. There, there has to be something, G. You're going to be mad. This fucked up. But they said y'all going to be mad. You've been feeding it to your children and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, my kid, we've been growing up on hopping, been growing up on chicken all my life. Is that why my son been acting like this and shit? I'm telling you. This is why he got the trimmers and 88, all this other shit. And that ain't funny, but that's what they're telling me. Uh, Some shit. Okay. Yeah, something with the sperms and uh, reproducing and all that shit. Okay, allegedly. Okay. And I don't know what the fuck happened to it when you fry it now, because they saying don't batter the bird. So maybe you just add, you're going to coat this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> But they said, don't coat the shit. Like, basically, like, whatever is wrong with it, like, you're preserving it. Like, it's almost like whatever, like, you do better, like, peeling the skin off and, like, whatever poultry this is, like, like bake the fuck out of it. You know what I mean? But they're making me feel like you bred it or something. You're just making sure all the E. coli and shit is real safe under that batter. Like, shit, don't batter that bird. I don't know, G. Let's move on. But, yeah, they said, don't coat the shit. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Give me another one. I gotta go. Now I'm just being silly with y'all shit, and I'm supposed to be serious. I'm sorry. Uh, Give me another one here. Where are you physically in this? Ace of Cups. So, yeah, you get real emotional. This is where you are. Yeah, it's a fake-ass Divine Feminine. It's my doll face Divine Feminine card, but it's next to the quack who be hired in giraffe pussy is what this is. Some high ass bitch. So somebody gonna be calling your phone high, babbling, talking crazy on your phone, uh, trying to get your attention. Uh, they're either waiting at the Chick-fil-A, sitting there, some shit like that, G. Uh, asking for a hot cup of joe. I don't know, this feels like, I don't know, I was stoned. It's like somebody that's like doing very bad divine masculine getting on your fucking nerves, G. Okay? It's like a bum that followed you home all the way from the liquor store by foot when you were driving. You would be mad. Like, what what the fuck? It was eight other people at the liquor store, right? It's like this type of shit. I don't know. It's something about your light. It's like somebody's like on your, like these people can't leave you alone, basically. I tried that dope boy. What'd she say? That good boy thing, but the dope. Yeah, there's some bitch high on that shit. I'm telling you. You got like a, uh. They said a strawberry. Shit. This somebody, uh, uncle. Shit. This probably the Mac. I could be your uncle, your brother, your father, baby. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, this whoever this is already got a pimp. Shit. This the one that probably get up in their ass and shit. I feel like somebody gets abused by someone else, divine masculine, and this person calls you or this person losing or some shit. And this person calls you and like argues with you. Uh, don't get mad at this person. Uh, not because uh, I don't want you to feel sorry for him. I wasn't going there. I'm just saying don't get mad at him and get out of pocket. Bitch, talk to your pimp about that. Ain't there an HR and shit, a bottom bitch you could talk to about your benefits and shit? Bitch, don't fucking call here. This, this type of shit. That's basically what you had need to do. Give me another one. Just don't batter that bird. Some of y'all don't need to come in contact with this person physically face to face. That is how you will put your hands on this person. 
uh, especially if this person is inebriated or you both become inebriated, drink or do something together, an argument pops off with this person. Yep, kill Bill. Mm hmm I don't like it, buddy. Divine masculine. I don't like where you are physically. Watch out. Some woman out here crazy, especially when she on that shit. This is you walking on eggshells, knowing something is wrong, something is off. Someone may try to, I'm telling you, invite you somewhere or come to your house, your job. Uh, yeah, Erica Badu. Yeah, this is you, Divine Masculine. Gone with the wind. So you left this person. This person was playing games, act like they want the shit, then they did. He was like, well, fuck you, bitch, whatever the fuck they were doing, right? He looked a little angry with the bitch. Uh, and she got vindictive. Somebody may be trying to reconcile or hook up with you or meet you in some place or something like that. Uh, don't do it. Keep heading towards the art. Gee, don't batter that bird, okay? Somebody may be like, I forgot the recipe. How did you do it? Boop, 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 right? Can you come through? You're like, damn, bitch, you don't know how to just shake the shit up in the brown bag. Boop, 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 right? Like, no, you need to come through and show me how to do the chicken the right way because I'm scared, right? Let's just use this as a whatever. I don't have no more Polynesian, right? And you get there and it's a whole, this shit says assassin on it. Pussy wagon. It's a bunch of broads involved in whatever this is to get you out of pocket, okay? To get you beat up, assaulted, losing something. They gonna say you did something to their kid or this is for my daughter. You ain't gonna just, if somebody gets real crazy 88, yes. Something's coming back around divine masculine, infinity sign. It's like a roaches or something so i don't know i don't know if they if they gonna pair them up and put them on the ark i mean they, they here so maybe they got on some type of way climbed up through the sewage system in the bathroom i don't know how the fuck the roach got on the ark g but that's basically what this is okay so i'm out yo shit way too long anyway divine masculine that's been your reading g like i said it may or may not have resonated with i know it didn't I know it did it. May not have resonated with every single divine masculine getting no fit nugs. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot, my name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Divine masculine. Uh, I'm glad you were in our other reading. I'm glad you showed up in divine feminine's reading. It makes sense now. Like, because it lets me know you're on the right track. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know if you're still sitting in this. Some of you are. Others of you are just like healing and, and like like reflecting over things as you head towards the art, right? Spiritually speaking. So I feel like a lot of y'all are out of this. So this, I feel like it's a be aware. Like just know these, you may be done with these people. They are not done with you. And you're going to take this shit very fucking personal as you should. But fight this shit different, King David. Okay? All right, anyway. Love you. Bye.